that she met Jay Z yeah. and had course with him. How old was she? I would say about I think she was about 16, 17 or 16, just turning 16 or 17. I, I wouldn't, I know it was one of them. And Jay Z was what age? I wouldn't happen to know. I think he was in, was he in his 20s? I read 22. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I read 22, but he was in his 20s. Yes, I wouldn't happen to know his age, but 22, I'm pretty sure if they put that out there, then yeah. that's what his age was. Right. Yeah. So I, I just want to point out to our audience that Jay Z having sex with a minor would make that child ready because she was underage at the time. And then, furthermore, the fact that he took her from one state to another state, I imagine, would be in a violation of. Um, state trafficking laws. Wow. So moving forward. Rymir Satterwhite, who claims to be Jay-Z's son, is back in the spotlight. This time, he's revealing more about why Jay-Z allegedly refuses to take a paternity test. According to Rymir, the test would prove that Jay-Z was involved with his mother Wanda when she was underage. Even more intriguing is the allegation that Beyonce has been advising Jay-Z not to take the test. But that's not all. The family claims they are facing threats for continuing to pursue the DNA test. In a recent interview with Liz Crokin, Rymir and his godmother, Dr. Lily Colley, reiterated their belief that Jay-Z is Rymir's biological father. They've maintained this stance for years. Wanda reportedly had a brief encounter with Jay-Z in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in Brooklyn, New York, after Jay picked her up in Philadelphia. Although they used protection, it failed. After a follow-up visit two weeks later, Wanda never saw Jay-Z again and had no way to contact him. Ramir first learned from his mother that she believed Jay-Z was his father when he was about eight years old. Although Wanda's live-in boyfriend, Robert Graves, was initially listed on Rimmer's birth certificate, he was legally removed in 2011 after a DNA test confirmed he was not the father. Wanda told Ramir that she had only been with Robert and Jay-Z, so if Robert wasn't the father, Jay-Z had to be. In 2011, Wanda filed a civil lawsuit in New Jersey seeking child support from Jay-Z. However, the case was dismissed because it was filed in the wrong state and never refiled. Jay-Z's lawyer stated that Jay-Z was not an interested party regarding Ramir's custody. For years, Ramir has been trying in vain to get Jay-Z to agree to a paternity test. The underlying reason, according to Ramir, is that it would prove Jay-Z committed a crime by being involved with an underage girl. Wanda's godmother noted that they initially hoped to resolve the matter privately after receiving receiving a call from Jay-Z's in-house lawyer, who was very helpful at first. They even discussed Reimer's musical talent and the possibility of signing him to Jay-Z's record label. However, Reimer had to finish high school, so the offer was declined. Then, new lawyers got involved, and their attitude drastically changed. It seemed they realized the gravity of the situation, given that Wanda was underage at the time. In a recent interview, Reimer and his godmother shared that they have been battling in court across multiple states for years to compel Jay-Z to take a paternity test. They are also fighting to expose what they see as a corrupt legal system rigged to deny them due process. Rymir has long asserted that Jay-Z has been using his wealth and influence to avoid taking a paternity test. He revealed that he was denied a fair hearing due to legal errors and malpractice. Rymir has even accused his own lawyers of colluding with Jay-Z's legal team to prevent the test. In his quest for justice, Remir has taken his case to the Supreme Court, seeking to unseal the records and force Jay-Z to take a DNA test. Although the Supreme Court initially rejected the case, citing a lack of jurisdiction to reopen appeals or unseal trial records, Rymir refiled it in the appellate division of the New Jersey Superior Court. However, the process has been frustrating. Rymir has explored every avenue, even releasing a track called Stack, 
Max, which talks about how Jay-Z allegedly tried to block his progress in the music industry due to the ongoing controversy. Rymir even attempted an ancestry test, but the process was also frustratingly complicated. For those who think this is about money, Rymir has explicitly stated that he doesn't want any money from Jay-Z. He just wants the truth. In a previous interview, Rymir emphasized, he's supposed to be a positive role model for our community. He stands there screaming Black Lives Matter. Well, tell the truth and take responsibility. If you say I'm not your son and nothing ever happened with my mom, then just take the test. If you're telling the truth, why is your first response always no when asked to take a paternity test? I want a fair due process in court, regardless of who my father father is or how rich he is. In another interview with The Sun, Rymir clarified, This is not me being petty or trying to start a feud. I want to put my song out there to let the world know I'm still rising, regardless of what anyone says. And Jay-Z, I am coming for the music industry. If he said he's not my dad a thousand times, wouldn't it be easier to just take the test? This has gone beyond a paternity test now. It's about more than that. Ramir reiterated in a recent interview that he does not want money. He wants validation and and justice. Additionally, there are several points Rymir and his godmother wanted to stress from previous interviews. Jay-Z allegedly took Wanda across state lines when she was 16, from Philadelphia to an apartment in Brooklyn, New York, where they had intercourse. Jay-Z's lawyers allegedly lied in court when they claimed they misspoke. Jay-Z has refuted the claims in court, despite allegedly attempting to settle them outside of court long ago. Rymir claimed that someone tried to harm him and fired at him after he filed a civil lawsuit against Jay-Z, suggesting that intimidation tactics have been used against them for years. Dr. Lilly believes that Beyoncé played a key role in dissuading Jay-Z from acknowledging Rymer and settling the case. They also suggested that Beyoncé and Jay-Z may have cruelly mocked Rymir in their music. Regarding the music, Jay-Z indirectly addressed the issue in his song, Heard About Us, where he rapped Billie Jean in his prime. For the thousandth time, the kid ain't mine, denying having other children. Regardless, Rymer's family remains determined to continue their fight to uncover the truth, even if Beyoncé continues to encourage Jay-Z not to take the paternity test. However, we must cause caution Ramir's family to be extremely careful, especially since both Ramir and his godmother have already mentioned that they faced intimidation. With stories about Jay-Z and Beyoncé resurfacing, they need to tread carefully. For instance, consider the recent resurfacing of the story about Kathy White. Kathy White, Jay-Z's alleged mistress, died under mysterious circumstances the year Beyoncé got pregnant with Blue Ivy. She passed away shortly after giving an interview about her relationship with Jay-Z, and Liz Crokin was the one reporting the details. Allegedly, two weeks before her death, Kathy was contacted by a major tabloid investigating her connection with Jay-Z. She provided them with some information. According to sources, after speaking with the tabloid, Kathy called Jay-Z and informed him that she planned to go public with their affair for a price. Approximately 48 hours after the announcement of Beyoncé pregnancy, Kathy suddenly died under suspicious circumstances. The cause of death was reported as a brain aneurysm, but an NYPD detective mentioned that the cause of death was uncertain. The detective indicated that an autopsy and toxicology reports were conducted to determine what really happened, but the report never surfaced. There have also been rumored connections with Diddy. Is this truly the path Ramir wants to pursue? He needs to be extraordinarily cautious. But what do you think about the allegation that Beyoncé is part of the reason why the process has been so frustrating? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.